Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for our two Kaiser figure from Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger. So we are continuing this line of sort of basic figures we've gotten this year. They all sort of have gimmicks, except for Zenkaiser, we got the core five. And like I said, aside from Zenkaiser, the other four's gimmicks was transforming into their robot and creature forms, or in Broom's case, in his vehicle form. And now we have one for two Kaiser. I'm really happy about this because I like us having a somewhat basic figure, and I guess he kind of presented a perfect opportunity since he has, sort of has a gimmick, since he transforms into these different modes, and that's what his gimmick is. He obviously has his regular state, but then you can transform him into a Shinkenger based and O-Ranger based power up. But before we get started, I just want to talk about this real quick. This was the backing inside the case, and it has the instructions in it, just like the other ones, which I thought was kind of neat. And plus the backing just look kind of cool, so if you want to save him for a background or something, I just wanted to draw attention to that to start. But talking about the figure itself, it's honestly pretty solid, and these are basically like um, Soto-esque figures without making you put the stickers on yourself like some sort of barbarian. But I think that they're pretty solid. They're not the best figures ever, but I, I really do like them, and I like being able to have an articulated figure of the current Sentai, which is not something we usually get. Like, the gold color on him isn't the best. Like, it doesn't look the most bright, vibrant gold. It looks almost more bronzish, almost more like the, the Saban Gold Ranger suits, but it's not bad. And I think the details, you know, they're not like the best, but they get all the ones you need for the most part, and I think it still looks pretty solid. And the proportions, like I said, are kind of like a Soto figure. They also kind of remind me of those old bike figures from back in the 90s. Um, for articulation, you do get a nice ball joint here with some swiveling. You get an elbow joint here. You get a nice ball joint here at the leg, knee joint here. You get a nice ball joint at the foot and your waist, waist can move there, my waist. And then the neck has obviously um, a ball joint here as well. And something I wanted to draw attention to is that it looks really weird here because you kind of have this square piece like here. So if you're posing it with his head up for whatever reason, if you want to post him looking up to the sky, that's going to look a little weird. That is a little bit of a, a strange thing to it. But overall, I still really do dig these figures. Again, not the best. You're not going to be getting figure arts quality or anything like that. But being able to have articulated figures, almost like a basic PR figure for these, is pretty neat. And I dig uh, Two Kaiser's design. So I'm happy with this for what it is on its own. Uh, but before we get to the transformations, I just wanted to show here it is next to this is like your traditional Sentai vinyl. Just I wanted to show, well, the scale. You can see this guy's going off the the camera right here but the gold looks so much better on this but you can see that the base details are pretty much the same like these are neither of these are ever going to be the most detailed figures but they got all the base details you need and you don't feel like you're missing anything too huge um you do have some like weirdness with the, the collars going on there but this gold looks so much nicer on that and i wanted to draw attention to that in this review so, in addition to his modes that he comes with, he does come with both versions of the changer slash weapon. Just in sort of your sort of classic weapon style, you know, just molded plastic, not in too many crazy details or anything, but you do have both of those. And then you have his Shinkenger armor, and to do the Shinkenger armor, it's honestly really simple. Uh, there's just a little peg back here, and you have this little skirt piece here, and so all you do is you plug this piece into the back, like so, and then you just bring these around like this. There's little hinges on there. And then for the armor piece, you just take this whole piece off. It's kind of nice because you almost don't even realize this comes off, so it fits on there quite nicely. And then for the Shinkenger armor, are you going to stand for a second? Guess not. Um, it kind of just comes apart like those old classic Mighty Morphin Automorphin figures where you put the armor on the Green Ranger or the White Ranger, and that's how this one works. The other one works a little bit more like um, the, the main gold one, but there you have that. And you know, that looks fine. I don't think either of these two modes are knocking my socks off. I don't know why I keep using that phrase in lots of videos, but it's still pretty neat. I think it works pretty well well with like the red accents he already has on him it flows pretty nicely and it's pretty cool to be able to do this so, and it's pretty easy so if you want to change the modes on your display it's really easy to do that and then it's kind of a nice way of including the gimmick for this guy and kind of encouraging them to continue the line because this guy has a gimmick but very simple and then you have the o-ranger ones so the o-ranger one also has a skirt piece it works just a little bit differently because you just kind of kind of clamshell these around like this, and you can see the designs here for all the different symbols that you have in the show. And then this armor slides on just like the old one did, just like the original one did right here. And this one looks pretty cool. It's weird though, maybe I'm just stupid, and obviously I know that these are the symbols for the O-Ranger slash Zeo, but I don't know what this silver and blue color scheme has to do with O-Ranger. Like, I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking of the Megazords, I guess maybe a little bit Super Zeo, maybe? But I'm really trying to think what in the show corresponds to this specific color scheme outside of this design. It just doesn't remind me of anything, and I'm not sure. Like, it looks kind of cool, it makes them look like silver piratey, but I just don't know. And obviously, if you want to, if you want to have seconds of fun, you can mix and match. So you can, you know, do the 
Shinkenger bottom with the O-Ranger top and the Shinkenger top with the O-Ranger bottom and stuff like that. And that actually looks kind of cool. I actually kind of dig that. It almost reminds me of like the rider forms where they do a hybrid of their ability forms like Agito Trinity and stuff like that. So that actually looks pretty cool. So if you want to have a unique display, you can also uh, do stuff like that. But overall, I do like this figure. It's not going to be the most amazing figure you're ever going to get. It's not going to be figure arts level of details and details on the weapons. But it's a nice, solid, decent looking figure with good articulation. And you have the nice gimmicks so you can mix and match if you want. And like I said, I really like that we're getting this line and I hope it continues. We're so early on it makes sense that they did him and then the fact that he has a gimmick it also makes sense that they included him but I'm really hoping if we get any more rangers that we could see more like I'd love to see one for Stacy or um, Red Kaiser or Red Kaiser as Zenkai Red um, or any other rangers we get or e maybe even I mentioned in my previous video I'd love to see them do Legend Sentai releases just like when Ryder did the RKF series uh, during its anniversary series they started doing Legend Rider releases and I'd love to see Legend Ranger releases. But that's about it for this one guys until next time to like comment subscribe and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder signing out.